my name is Rolando Diaz and I happen to be an international acclaimed Cuban American painter. In this beautiful space that you see right here, I get to hold a, an annual art show at the Jeanette Kennedy Gallery located at South Southern Lamar. This year was a very special show for me. This was my 13th year show and I decided to do the Horses of Revelation. Now right at the, at the middle of the year I begin to wonder what am I going to convey to my audience? What is it that I want to say? And I had a real deep calling in my heart and in my soul about the Horses of Revelation. It, it just kept on bringing me back to that. And I thought, why, why am I feeling that way? And so I began to read Revelation 6 over and over again. You know, maybe one of the reasons why I chose to go in that direction has to do with everything that I'm seeing uh, with ISIS, uh, with some of the trouble in our country, uh, many things are just going on and all around us. And so I began to think about the fact that, um, you know, one day I really believe there's going to be a revelation. Uh, there will be something coming. And when it comes, it's not going to be pretty. It's actually going to be kind of tough. Um, I began to wonder all of that as I saw some of the, the pain that I see around the world and really began to realize that what is coming is going to be even harsher and worse than anything mankind has seen. As I began to wonder and ponder about that, and as I read Revelations over and over again, the verses about the four horses of Revelation and its riders, then I, be I began to try to visualize what those riders and horses were like. And for example, I'll begin with the white horse. The white horse to me, I wanted a horse that was very um, strong, uh, a horse that that could literally look like it could go capture or it could go do its mission because in the verse it says that it actually was ready to go conquer. So I did a majestic horse in all its glory knowing that it could go out and conquer. Then when I looked at the red horse, uh, the red horse was a, a different feeling for me because in this horse it says that the rider was carrying a large sword and it was going to slaughter. So I thought, you know what, when I think of slaughtering, as terrible as that word is, or the image of that, I think of blood. And I thought, it's, it says in the Bible that it's a fiery red horse, obviously, in connection to blood and to slaughter. And so that, that particular horse is almost, his face and expression almost has a bit of hesitation and scare in the eyes because it knows that it's going out there to do something that is really horrible. But that's the way I try to depict it. And the, uh, the rider himself, looks like death. The third horse, uh, the black horse, that is really the mildest to me of all four because in that particular situation all it mentions is that the rider was carrying the scales, double scales, and so I had the horse in a milder state. In that particular situation I used my blues which are, which are colors that are soothing uh, usually, my greens, and, and so I portrayed a horse that is flying across with its rider, almost ghostly mystical, carrying double scales. Then finally, the worst of them all, the last horse, was the pale horse. When I thought about the pale horse, I thought of green. I thought of, uh, of a muted, almost fungus-like type of color that portrayed the worst of the worst this particular horse and rider, it says that he will come to destroy through famine, through the thorn, uh, the, the animals of, of the earth will turn against man, is complete death. And the worst thing that it says is that Hades followed close behind it. That's Satan himself, that's hell. So as I try to portray the horribleness of this moment, I use the face of my horse to try to reveal a lot of pain uh, by the teeth. I had the teeth and the mouth bleeding. I had, I had the nose bleeding. I had blood coming out of the eyes. He has a, a frantic, horrible look on his face and his rider the same. And then to depict death, I thought, well, how do I depict death? And I thought, well, I'm gonna use my crows because usually crows are associated with death. So as this horseman, in almost a fungus-like um, greenish looking color rides out, there's crows 
follow him all around, representing death. They're just flying all around him. And so it's really a morbid, horrible uh, thing, but that's what the Bible says will take place, and I believe it. I don't know if any of you have studied uh, the book of Revelation. Uh, some of you, I'm sure, have in detail. If you have any interest in any one of these visuals, we're able to provide for you either a single visual of any one you like or the four. And we can do it in different sizes. Now, if there is an interest in that, you can actually contact me uh, by emailing me at row41 at hotmail.com. That is R-O-E 41 at hotmail.com. My full name is Rolando Diaz, R-O-L-A-N-D-O, last name D-I-A-Z. And if you want to Google my career, then you can put Rolando Diaz slash artist and you will find information on me. I hope that the horses of Revelation make you wonder. I hope they make you think. I hope they make you see that possibly there is something coming in the future. That's the whole idea of the Revelation. So if it does that for you, then I feel like I've accomplished my mission this year for my 13th annual show, The Horses of Revelation, at the Jeanette Kennedy Gallery.